There's too many hills. I don't like it. Hi everyone, my name is Whitney Mile and welcome to my channel. Today's video is not what I had originally planned. I had a completely different idea all planned out. Then about a week and a half ago, Todd and I went on a hike um, that kind of changed everything. As I was editing the footage for my weekly vlog, I realized that I had to make a decision. Either it was going to be part of my weekly vlog and my video would be 20 minutes long or I would have to cut out a lot of pieces of this story or I would do a separate video about it. And so that's what today's video is about. This video is not an installment of the A Walk in the Park series that I started. If you guys want more of those videos, leave a comment down below. I really enjoyed making that video, so I'd love to make more of them. Um, but that was not what this was intended to be. This video is really just me reacting to the hike that I had. I hope you guys enjoy it. Here goes. Hi everyone, after a week off from weekly vlogging, I am back at it. So Todd and I are embarking on what has become kind of like a weekly ritual now, where we run to Quick Trip and get something to eat in the morning and then go on a hike. We are actually going to a different park this time and it's still part of the same forest, but it's a different unit. So instead of Lapham Peak, we're going to the Pike Lake unit because they have a 2.4 mile trail and we've already done 1.8 and two miles. So we're just gradually building up. So Todd was making fun of me because I ran up some of the hills and I was trying to explain it goes faster if you run it. You don't have to spend as much time dwelling on it and it's fewer steps and so that was my logic did you not agree with that nah. you don't buy it it's quicker but it's not easy it's also making fun of me for my run i just thought i would take the opportunity to recap what just happened on our hike I was not in any way expecting that hike to be as challenging as it was. Two weeks ago, we did a 1.8 mile hike and it was on a paved path, really level. There are only a couple inclines to speak of. So last weekend, we did a two mile hike that you guys saw in my video and that was unpaved. It was just a normal path. It was a little bit hilly. It wasn't too bad. There were just a couple slopes. For reference, the big hill at the end that I showed you guys, we did the equivalent of that probably six times, if not more. It was so hilly, unbelievably hilly. Whew, it just, it took a lot out of me. It was just a long, long hike. It was 2.4 miles, but we also added on this part where you walk up a hill and then go up this observation tower, which was much taller than the one that I showed you in our last hike. The pivotal moment <laughs> was really when we climbed up that tower. We, we t climbed to the top of this observation tower and it was 96 steps. And I really only stopped for a couple seconds at each ledge. I got to the top and I was looking out. I was up there for a couple seconds and I just started to feel really emotional and I started crying and we weren't the only ones up there um, but I just I got kind of emotional just like looking out and thinking you know we already walked like over two miles just getting to that point and it was a hard two miles it was up and down and just rugged terrain that would have been enough that would have been hard enough for me to feel you know really satisfied with myself for for doing that hike then we climbed up a hill and then climbed up a tower and I don't know it just it started to hit me like how much more capable I am right now than I have been ever, <laughs> ever. 
and it's it's just really cool to see myself making that progress and like getting to the top and not feeling so exhausted that I need to like crash and find a seat immediately like not just making it to the top but making it and continuing to stand and enjoy the view and not be like severely out of breath and like needing a seat like this is not something that I would have expected to be able to do in this short amount of time and it just makes me so excited for the next couple months like I need to keep crushing it. I need to keep going at it and chasing after these goals that I have. All these micro goals that I set for myself. Incremental things about, you know, my strength and my endurance and yeah, my weight, but my weight is not the most important thing. It's not. This is the most important thing. Living my life and enjoying it and getting to participate and do things that I never thought that I would be able to do. Like, that's that's why it hit me. <laughs> and I'm starting to get emotional again. Um, it just hit me. Like, I could have kept living my life the way that I was just a couple months ago. And... I'm just so happy and proud of myself. Not proud of myself now. Proud of the me who made that decision. And proud of the me who keeps making this decision. And in a couple months, I'll be proud of the me today who climbed that tower. This is this is going to be a pivotal thing for me. I know that this is going to be memorable for me. Someday I will take you guys on this hike like I did for last week's hike, um, if you guys want to see that. It was extremely scenic and really challenging, very empowering. So if you guys want to see that, I'll give myself a couple weeks off in between and go to my other easier parks maybe. Yeah, if you want to see it, leave a comment down below. So that was my hike experience and I really do think that this is going to be a memorable pivotal moment for me in my fitness journey and so I, I thought it was important to share it in its entirety. I also just want to give a quick little shout out to my new subscribers. I jumped up to like 38 subscribers overnight it seems and I just wanted to say welcome to my community and thank you so much for the kind words that you guys have been leaving on my videos. This is exactly what I had in mind when I started this journey and started this channel. All I wanted was a support system and people who were on the same journey or had completed their journey already and were giving motivation to beginners. Like, this is all I want is your support and your kindness and your words of encouragement. It means so much to me. And I'm so happy to be subscribing to all of you as well. You guys have such cool stories and unique journeys and I'm happy to be part of your community as well. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button now and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. All right, thanks everyone, bye.